a dishonest trader marks his goods up by 80% and gives discount of 25%. Besides, he gets 20% more amount per kg from the wholesaler and sells 10% less per kg to the customer. What is the overall profit percentage? What is the overall profit percentage? So interesting question. I think if you uh, recall the concepts that we have covered in the profit and loss video, we have discussed both the question types separately. And here it's a combination of the two, right? You remember the popular dishonest dealer question, right? A dishonest dealer or a dishonest trader uh, sells his goods in, in such a way that, you know, he's claiming to be selling it at cost price, but gives a lesser quantity. So that, that part is covered here, right? He gets 20% more from the wholesaler, but sells 10% less per kg to the customer. And then we have also discussed about markup price and discount. You mark up the value, then give a discount and accordingly you will make some profit. So both the combinations have to be used together here. So let me read the question again. A dishonest trader marks his goods up by 80%. He's marking up the value by 80%. And then he gives a discount of 25%. Besides, right in addition to this he gets 20 percent more amount per kg from the wholesaler and sells 10 percent less per kg to the customer what is the overall profit percentage so he's he's making profit in two different ways here one is his marking up goods by 80 percent giving a discount so obviously he'll make some profit there but also in terms of quantity that he procures and that he uh, lets out he's getting 20 percent more per kg from the wholesaler so there's an advantage that he has got but this cheater fellow, what is he doing? He is selling 10% less per kg to the customer, which is unfair. But then he is doing that, right? Dishonest trader. So he makes some profit here as well in terms of quantity. What is the overall profit percentage is the question. What is the overall profit percentage? What we will do here is solve the question in two parts. Let's, let's first focus on the first part here. That a dishonest trader, trader marks his goods up by 80% and gives a discount of 25%. So first of all, let us find out what will be the selling price and cost price in such a case. Forget about the dishonest part. There is a trader who has marked his goods up by 80% and gives a discount of 25%. For the sake of simplicity, I am repeating again, whenever the question involves percentage based calculation, here is asking us to find out the profit percentage or loss percentage or whatever. Whenever a percentage answer is required, you can start with an assumption. You can assume the initial values to be 100 or you know whatever you feel like and do the calculation according to the given question. It will give you the final answer correctly. I mean, if you follow the conditions properly, you will get the same correct answer. And then we are better off playing with numbers than trying to write equations in such a case, right? So let's assume that the cost price is 100. We are focusing only on the first part. A dishonest trader marks his goods up by 80% and gives a discount of 25%. So cost price is 100. He is marked up by how much? 80%. He is marked up by 80%. So what should be the marked price? The marked price M will be equal to 100, which is the cost price plus 80 percentage. Yes or no? He's marked up the goods by 80%. So he'll increase the price by 80% basically. So 100 plus 80%. 80% of what? 80% of 100. 100 plus 80% of 100 is 180. 80% of 100 is 80. So 100 plus 80 180. So marked price is 180. Cost price is 100. The marked price is 180. Discount is 25%. Discount is 25%. You all know that discount is always calculated on the marked price. Yes or no? Discount should always be done on the marked price. So 25% of what? 25% of 180 which comes out to be 45. 25% is one fourth. One fourth of one is 45. What is selling price? Selling price, you all know, is mark price minus discount. Mark price minus discount. So 180 minus 45. 180 minus 45, 135. So basically for a costing of 100, he sells at 135. For one unit cost of 100 rupees, he's selling per unit at 135 rupees. So what is the profit? 35 percentage. I mean, if only this is the question, I can say the profit is 35 percentage. You spend 100 rupees, you make 135 rupees. So profit is 35 over every 100 rupees spent. So 35 percentage. But there's one more part involved here, this quantity case. So that also has to be considered. And, and let me leave, you don't have to write all these six, seven steps or five, six steps that you have put here, right? Cut down on the number of steps. In fact, I would, uh, I would say that you should do this calculation mentally. There's, there's nothing complex about it, right? Cost price is 100, mark price will be 180, selling price will be 75% of 180. You, you don't even have to calculate the discount separately. If you really understand, no need to calculate the discount separately because you know that, the, that if the discount is 25%, selling price will be 75%. If the discount is 10%, selling price will be 90%. If the discount is 12%, selling price will be 80, 88%. All these percentages are on the mark price. So if the discount is 25%, selling price will be 75%. 75% of what? Mark price. 75% of 180 is 135. 
so you should be good in calculation that's what i've been telling from day one right practice on how to deal with numbers that's that's where most of us waste our precious time if you can do the calculations quickly mentally without having to put pen on paper you will save a lot of your time which you will again use to solve more questions anyway so the first part of the question can be solved mentally where we arrive at the conclusion that the profit is 35 percentage or the selling price is 135 for a spend of 100 rupees now look at the second part what is he saying besides in addition to this he gets 20 percentage more amount per kg he gets 20 percent more per kg, uh, per kg from the wholesaler and sells 10 percentage less per kg 10 percentage less per kg to the customer see how is the how are the goods moving here from the wholesaler don't do this drama in the exam i'm just trying to explain you in detail from the wholesaler to the trader and from the trader to the customer that's how the goods are being moved right so what happens while he's con you know take taking it from the trader he takes 20 percentage more he gets 20 percentage more from the trader uh, from the wholesaler but while selling he tells he sells 10 percentage less he sells 10 percentage less you're able to follow let's assume all these prices that we have calculated are per kg 100 rupees per kg mark price is 180 rupees per kg discount is 45 rupees per kg so selling price comes out to be 135 rupees per kg all these are per kg prices now what is happening when he's buying from the wholesaler he's getting 20 percentage more so actually how much will he pay to the wholesaler he will pay 100 rupees he'll pay 100 rupees to the wholesaler yes or no? how much will the trader pay to the wholesaler his costing is 100 which means he'll pay 100 rupees to the wholesaler for how much for one kg but he gets 20 percentage more from the wholesaler the wholesaler is running some scheme that i'll give you 20 percentage more so he actually spends see his costing is how much costing here is 100 rupees 100 rupees not for kg it is for 1 kg plus 20 percentage are you able to follow 100 rupees for how much 1 kg plus 20 percentage because he's getting 20 percentage more which is equal to 1.2 kgs you understand so he's spending 100 rupees for procuring 1.2 kgs how about his selling price selling price is 135 rupees now understand when he's selling to the customer when he's selling this to the customer he's he's charging 135 rupees for how much for 1 kg the customer assumes that he's getting 1 kg but this cheater is giving 10 percentage less he reduces the quantity by 10 percentage which the customer doesn't realize so actually the customer is paying 135 rupees for how much for 0.9 kgs i mean he is assuming that he has paid for 1 kg but what he gets is only 0.9 kg so basically what happens is the equation changes now earlier we had assumed 100 rupees per kg is the cost price 35 135 rupees per kg is the selling price but in the actual case what comes out is the cost price is 100 rupees for 1.2 kgs and the selling price is 135 rupees for 0.9 kgs now based on these values you got to find out the profit percentage which is nothing but your overall profit percentage because both have been considered now in this case both have been considered the marked up and the discount case has been considered along with the change in those quantities however there is a challenge the challenge here is the quantities are different see i still cannot take 100 as a cost price and 135 as a selling price because 100 is the cost price for 1.2 kgs 135 is the cost price for 0.9 kgs remember whenever you're calculating profit percentage or loss percentage the quantity should be same the quantity that you consider for cost price and the quantity that you consider for selling price has to be same otherwise you will end up getting a wrong answer right the units sold or the quantity sold has to be same so one easy way to tackle this is take a common multiple of 1.2 kgs and 0.9 kgs accordingly change the prices and then on those prices calculate the profit or loss percentage this one there, there are two ways to do it find out the price per kg 100 rupees for 1.2 kg so how much for 1 kg 135 rupees for 0.9 kg so how much for 1 kg but that is a complex calculation in my view easier way to deal with this to take a common multiple of 1.2 and 0.9 and i think a common multiple of 1.2 and 0.9 is 3.6 it's like 12 and 9 right what's the common multiple of 12 and 9 36 12 into 3 9 into 4 so what i'll do is multiply this first equation by 3 and multiply the second equation by 4 so what happens by doing that we get the cost price as follows 100 into 3 300 rupees for how much 1.2 into 3, 3.6 kgs. What about the selling price? 135 into 4. 135 into 4 is 540. For what quantity? 0.9 into 4, 3.6 kgs. So the costing for 3.6 kgs is 300 rupees. The sale value for the same 3.6 kgs is 540 rupees. Now I can calculate the profit on this. So what's the profit percentage? Profit is 240 rupees, right? 240 rupees on 300 is 80 percentage. You don't have to write this step. Again, like I said, mental calculation. Profit is 240 rupees, 540 minus 300, 240 upon costing of 300, which gives you 80 percentage. So 80 percentage is the overall profit that he gets.
80 percentage please do not go by the length of the explanation right i am not solving this question i'm explaining this to you so it's taken so much of time can you do it yourself you'll, you'll save a lot of time I, I think if i have to highlight all the steps which you need not put on paper this is not needed this is not needed this is not needed 180 180 simple 45 is simple 135 is simple all this is to be done mentally again don't do all this drama in the exam right wholesaler will give it to trader you will you're not doing a descriptive paper right i think this also can be uh, the, the only step that we'll probably put on paper is 100 rupees for 1.2 kgs 135 rupees for 0 0.9 kgs this again is not needed right don't write all the intermediate steps 100 rupees for 1.2 kgs 135 for 0 0.9 0 0.9 kgs and then maybe you do this you know common multiple step and get the required answer and then please do not do this if you put 240 by 300 into 100 0 0 0 0 cancel 24 by 380 or 240 by 380 then you are wasting your time so all that you see in yellow should not be put on paper right